I'm very fond of this landscape. It's got a ruggedness that uh, a lot of people respond to. I think the thing here is you've got very old rocks. You've got incredible sense of groundedness because of the hardness of the rock. And the way that water flows through the landscape is very interesting. What I do particularly like is that sense of being on a threshold. My name's Simon Warner. I am the third year artist in residence for the Watershed Landscape Project, uh, which is being run by Pennine Prospects. And we're quite near my home, up under the edge of Stanbury Moor, just three miles from Haworth, and it's my stomping ground, really. The whole thing about this area for me, really, is that because of the Brontes, it's become a sort of centre for cultural activity. Um, lots and lots of people, other writers and artists, have been here to just see what it is that they've been told about this area, why, why it might be special. The Watershed Landscape Project is an attempt to put artists into the countryside and really they're trying to promote the uplands and the moorlands to give them a little bit more of their due because the South Pennines have always been slightly underrepresented in comparison with the Yorkshire Dales and the Peak District. Over the years there have been lots of attempts to kind of um, redefine the South Pennines as a very special area, which it obviously is. But it's to some extent, you know, narrowed and constricted by the industrial towns on either side, and I think that's been part of the problem. But that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of um, taking a new look at the uplands. Simon's exhibition is going to feature a series of miniature landscape films. They're almost painterly in their concept um, and the Brontes themselves that created these incredible vivid magical worlds on tiny books almost that would fit in the palm of your hand so we really wanted to reflect that miniature size and so Simon's work will be displayed in and amongst the Brontes objects in the rooms where we display their belongings and will be quite subtle so at first you won't necessarily notice them and then you'll see um, these little landscapes in and amongst the Bronte's own belongings. The exhibition is called Ways to the Stone House and I struggled for ages with an exhibition title because I wanted to give it something slightly memorable perhaps and started looking at Sylvia Plath's work because she's a poet who along with Ted Hughes is also particularly associated with this area. And I came across one of her diary entries describing her first visit to Top Withens, which she described in some detail, really. She says, there are two ways to the stone house, both of them tiresome. And she begins to describe the difficulties of clambering over the marshes and the broken walls. And an interesting thing about Top Withens is that if you look well, if you look east from Top Withens and follow the same latitude across Europe, it's not until you get to the southern Ural Mountains that there's any higher ground, so around 3,000 miles away. And I think that, for me, that contributes to the sense of it being slightly special. It's not that it's necessarily a special place on its own, it's the connections that one somehow deep down feels oneself making with, um, with the wider world.